Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi. How are you tonight? Mm, a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little, a little tired. tired. A little tired. 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 Yeah, ta tired. Tired. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yard. Yard. Ta yard. Ta yard. Ta yard. Right. Okay. Um, but I hope you won't be in a minute. All right. How was your day? Did you do anything special? Just work. Nothing but work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have to do all day, right? All day long. Yeah. Life as a grown up. <laughs> okay, I guess today we're going to be starting with the with the midterm. Have you started? Have you started the midterm? Yes. Actually, no, I'm all class. done with the but with the class. You're done? Yeah, I have finished all the platforms. Oh great. Awesome. Okay, but in case you haven't, we're going to do that and all the other stuff. Just the internet is a little bit slow tonight. So give me one second, it's just taking a while. All right, uh, before we work with that, let's finish the previous section. One minute. Okay, we were working with WISH last night, right? So let's do the, re, uh, the listening exercise. Can everybody please go to section 3.8? Everybody go to section 3.8 and we're going to answer the questions, all right? So let's listen. Okay. Making changes. Part A. Listen and practice. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? Okay, did you get the answers? Yes? Very good. Number one, go ahead and read. Heidi? What kind of wishes does Terry have? He wishes he had his own apartment and that life wasn't so difficult. Right. Let's Second. say apartment. Apartment. Right. Okay, number two, Yolanda? You're muted, Yolanda. There. There you okay. are. Okay. Okay. What kind of wishes does Brian have? Uh, she wishes she had a a, a job. Uh huh. Very good. Number. No, three. no. I think is is number three. He wishes he worked somewhere else and lived somewhere more exciting. Let me see. Uh, so the third one. Yes, yeah, the third one. Okay, awesome. Uh, number three, Noe. Uh, rewrite the following sentence using wish. Laura doesn't have any free time. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's... Um, Laura wishes she <clears throat> has some free time. Uh huh, very good. And next one, Jose Armando. Jose Armando, I don't hear you. <laughs> Not there. Miss uh, Mirna, are you there? Mirna Ortiz. Mm, you're muted. Yes, I'm here. All right, number four. Yes. Number four is um, 
write the following sentences using wish. Dan can fit into his old jeans. Uh, I think the answer is Dan wishes he could fit into his old jeans. Right. Very good. Uh, Let's check. Let's Jocelyn, see. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Tell me. And the first one. Um, it says, in the first question, it says uh, the answer is that he wishes life wasn't so difficult. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, uh, what I, I have learned yeah. is where, because uh, in this four wishes, you're not going to use was. You're going to use where uh, in all the pronouns. Right. Look at this. Actually, in the example, it says, I wish life weren't so difficult. So that's why I opened this, because I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. It's actually the same here. It's not a mistake, to be honest. Because mm -hmm. um, nowadays, for example, um, when you look at the second conditional, you say, if I were taller, right? And you use it for all the, mm -hmm. for all the pronouns. That's what you mean, yeah. right? Or I wish yeah. it weren't so difficult because it's like a hypothetical situation. But, okay, so, for example, if I were taller, nowadays you can say if I was taller and it is acceptable. So, nowadays you can use both. Okay. But, like, the most grammatically accurate is where. You're right. Okay. Yep, you can use both. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, okay, so we got all the right answers. Very good. And I think that now it is time to work on the midterm. Let's see. Hey, where did you study English, by the way? Yolanda, right? Yeah, I studied English at UCAS. Ah, UCA, okay. With UCAS English say Department. It? Ah, okay. Not Sorry, through, what did you say? Not through INSA Fork. No, not for in support. In support is my first time. Ah, okay. Yeah, because no, actually, 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 I did the the whole course in in UCAS English department, but uh, it was I finished like two years ago, and I decided to be in practice with someone else because right. in this country it's very difficult to keep practicing. Yeah, and the problem is if you don't if you don't practice, you forget everything. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, yep. I'm here to practice also. <laughs> awesome, that's nice. And you know you can practice from the comfort of your house or your bed, even. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That's a good thing. Exactly. Okay, let's listen to the audio, guys. I know that some of you have already done this, but. We need to make sure we have the right answers and we work on it together. So please, everybody, go to the midterm. All right. And let's listen. Work with me, please. Everybody work with me. Did you have any problems or do you have any questions about the midterm? Was it difficult for the ones that finished? Listen to the conversation. Uh, for me, it was kind of easy because. Who is saying that? I don't see who's saying that. Ah, Roberto, me, right? Jose Roberto. Ah, okay. Yeah, for me, it was kind of easy because, like, I basically know, know the team. I mm -hmm. just need to practice more. That's why I'm growing to to this class to practice my grammar. Awesome. So it's the same case as Yolanda. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Jose Armando, are you there? And Miguel Angel, I haven't heard you. Yes, I am here. Ah, there you are. I have Hello, a with I'm my here. Oh, okay. Oh, well, Miguel fine. Angel and JC, if you can turn the camera on, that would be awesome. But anyway, let's listen, all right? Check correct okay. answers. One. Hi, I'm your new. Listen to.
to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No, I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. 2. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me, what were you like as a child? Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect old black and white photographs. 3. I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. 4. Hey, Steve, guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. I see. How do you know so much about this? I called that number five years ago. Okay, let's answer the questions. Number one, everybody participate. Go ahead. Thomas, Ray. thank you. Up in San Francisco. Okay, Carol used to to read comic books. Comic books. Read. Read. No, right. Let's try to do that sound at the back. So that we're gonna say read. Like like a dog. Read. <laughs> so yeah, read. Very good. Number three. According to Helen, there is too much traffic. Is too much traffic. Is it enough park in Delta? Is it enough park in Delta? Who says there is too much traffic? Say me. It's too much traffic. Too much traffic. Okay, we're like. Divided. Okay. I, heard, I heard she said that uh, all people are talking about traffic. Some people say that it's too much, too much traffic, and she says that isn't enough parking downtown. And she needs more uh, like public parking, public garages, something like that. Yes, the fact that they say something in the conversation doesn't mean that's the answer, right? We need to understand the whole idea. We're gonna try with the second question. So number four, with the second answer, sorry. Four, guys? Calling a phone number. Calling a phone number. Let's try. Hopefully these are the right ones. Let me see, yes. Very good, woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, <Awesome>. yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Let's do the next one. Okay, everybody participate. We're gonna go one by one, okay? So Katia. Number one, quickly, come on, come on, come on. Where, where was you born? I was born in Mexico City. Uh, yes, but you have was and where, um, so. What's where was you born? 
Um, but you... you no, said, what, was where you born? Sorry, 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 sorry. Say it again. Was where you born? Uh, I don't where know. were you? Where were you born? Right, exactly. Because we say... I was born in Mexico City. You were, or were you, right? Very good. Okay, and number two, did complete the conversation is the past tense and make sure not to use or blah, blah, blah. All right, Miguel. Hello. Hi, number two. Okay. The okay. uh did did where you study in high school it, yeah but if you use the auxiliary did you don't use the auxiliary where again remember it's did uh, subject verb you. did subject verb uh -huh. so did you did, did you, you where in, you know, did you? What's the verb? Uh, where study? No, 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 you don't need where again, because we have did. Study. You study French. Where did you study? Right. You cannot combine did French. and where, guys. Where did you study? French. French. Okay, everybody go to this section. If you haven't done it, let's complete it, all right? Where did you study French? Okay, and next one. Let me see whose turn it is. Jose Can Roberto. I give an opinion? In, okay. When did you grad? When did they graduate from college? Okay, let's try this. You were saying something about the, opinion. Uh, can I say something about number two? Yes. Did yes. you study? Number two. In, uh, yeah, did in the he, answer, did he? it's asking, yeah, it's mm -hmm. asking about he. So it should be, he did he study that. French in high school? When from college. They graduated from college. They graduated. They graduated. They graduated. Yeah, they graduate. say, when did they graduate from college? Right, now that's good. Okay, so did he study French and when did they graduate? All right. So if you're working on the platform, make sure you're typing this and this is capital letter. I don't know if it affects the result anyway. Okay, let's go to vocabulary. Jose Roberto, do the first one. Every summer, Sam used to go to the Beach with his friend. Very good. Number two, Heidi. I really enjoy playing chess when I was yes. in age. Yeah, this is chess. Chess. Yes, three. Eh, Jose Armando. Ed has some unusual pet, including a rabbit and a snake. In a... Hold on. No, no, it's a, no, no. This one, this one. This snake. One. In a snake. Yeah. Combine it instead of uh, a snake. And this is unusual. 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 Right. Okay. Very good. Good job. We can move on to section D. We're just verifying that everything is right. Uh, JC, go ahead. JC. Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> Hi. Number one, go ahead. So we're going to be using the correct form of use to. Okay. I don't hear you. Did, did mm -hmm. you did you to play soccer? Right, but we're when using you were used a to. Child. They did you used to play soccer? 
Okay, is it you... like this, guys? Used to like this or used to like this? Used. 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 Like used. With no D. Okay. Very good. Without D. Yes. Because you have the auxiliary. Very good. All right, number two. Let me see who. Heidi. Yes, I used to play soccer one day after school. Just but you're missing something. Uh huh. Used to yes, play. I used to play. Very good. Um, Jose Armando. And what thing did you use it to use to collect? Right. Remember, no D because you have did. Right? Yeah, did okay. used to. For uh, Mirna. Oh, I never collected anything. I was, um, oh, I never collected anything when I was a kid, but and now I collect postcards. I have postcards. Let's see if this is right. Yeah, it's saying we have some mistakes here. And what things did you use? You to have to use collect. You, you collect. Yeah. You collect. I'm yeah. missing collect. You're missing collect. Say, all right, very good. Is that right now? Yes, now everything is good. Yeah. Okay, awesome. We're almost done with this. Okay, letter E, Roberto. The Number one. Sir E. Let me see. Yeah, we're there rearranging it. B. Mm hmm yeah. There should be fewer noise and there should be. Yeah, there should be less noise and fewer cars. Hold on, I don't have there should be less noise. So there should be fewer cars and less noise. Number three. The third one. Yes. Okay, let's try with that, Miguel Angel. Hello. Let's rearrange Number this. Two. Should place should more here we basically have. Uh mm, ando perdido. <laughs> I lost. I'm lost. Sorry. Can I try? Yeah, go ahead. We should have more bicycle names. Lines. Um, did you try with the period or without the period, guys? I don't know. I'm going to leave it without it. I'm going to leave it without it. Without. Without. Okay. Next. Um, Katia. There is much to pollution here. Air pollution. There is hair pollution. Is too much. There is much too much. There is too much air pollution. There is too much air pollution. Let's try that. Yes, okay. Remember the answers, guys. You should be typing them if you haven't done this, because then it's going to be confusing. This is like easier because somebody has already tried it. It's, it's not like, like knowing exactly what this platform Incorrect. wants can be confusing. All right, now indirect questions. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see, Mirna. Okay. Um. Where is the nearest restaurant? And I think the nearest question could be, do you know where the nearest restaurant is? Okay, very good, Noe. Number two, how much do newspaper cost? Uh, 
Could you tell me how much do newspaper cost? So you're saying it's the first one? The third one. The third one? Yes. Yeah. yeah, remember it's it's a subject first and then the verb, right? When we're using, could you tell me we don't use auxiliaries anymore? So it should be the third one. No, it's the third one, yes. Yeah, exactly, all right. And next, JC. Come on guys, be engaged. Um, where is the best box store? Mm -hmm. in town uh, I think it could be you were the best do you know where the best bookstore in town is the second right. one yes very good and number four <clears throat> what time do, you, do the bank close okay Mm -hmm. Oh, it's that third one. Third one, can you read it? Third one. First one? Or third one? What do you say, guys? First one or third first one? one? First one. First, first, first one. Can you tell me what time the bank closed? Yeah, that should be right. It's okay. Very good. Great, great, great. And finally, this part I'm going to leave for you to do, okay? Because it's multiple options. So do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? By the way, if you read this, no? Teacher. Okay, so if you haven't done this, I'm not going to help you with this. We're, we're not going to help one another with this. You'll do it on your own, all right? I think this is the last part. It should be. So that we can work on the new section. We're going to be on section four and five, and that's it. We'll have finished. And we have six more classes to go in. That's it. Really? Yes, six more classes. That's it. So we're almost done. Let's see. In number four. Who wants to read? Yolanda? I read. Okay, lesson, lesson objective. Practice asking and answering question in English using the present perfect and simple past tenses. In this lesson, English teacher Joe Sands explains when you use simple past versus the present perfect tense depending on the time frame on the action. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever and describing you your past experiences by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. This lesson includes Okay, guys, take notes of the structure, all right? Because um, we're going to be practicing in a little bit. Let's watch. Everybody move the microphone, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? 
No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom. It's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there, I tried them last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information, they were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect, and then you continue on and, and you give a, either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have when I write talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has. As I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they. And we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have. Um, and then this follows the subject. Then this follows the word ever and then the verb in its past participle form and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer all right, um, here's the structure. I want to stop it here because we need to practice. All right, uh, let's read some of them, okay? Repeat with me and let's say, have you ever eaten snails? Have you, have ever, you ever eaten snails? snails? 
eaten snails. You need to connect it, remember. Eden. Eden. Eden snails. Very good. Eden snails. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I tried, yes, I, I tried them last month. I tried, I tried them, them last, last month. month. Right. Did you like them? Did you, you like, like them? them? Do you like them? Did you? Did, Did you? you? Did you like Did them? You. Did you? Did you like them? Yes, I did. Uh, they were delicious. Did you? No, I they didn't. Delicious. I did. They, they were delicious. <laughs> I didn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Very good. Yeah, one student told me today that he had eaten scorpions uh, in, in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, I was like, and how did it taste? He said, I don't remember because I was drinking tequila, so I didn't feel anything. <laughs> he couldn't taste it. So that was funny. <laughs> Imagine eating scorpion. Oh, my gosh. All right. Repeat. Say, uh, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? I'm back. Yay. Nay. <laughs> that was <Hi>. so fake. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. Sorry, I'm no, having some really. issues. Sorry? All right. Can you hear me well? Yes. 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 All right. We were trying to read here. So let's say, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? No, I haven't. But I ate that at no, a Thai restaurant last night. Uh, I, 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 I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. last night. Did you go alone? Did you go alone? Did you go alone? You go alone? Go alone? No, I went. No. Sorry, no, I went. No, I went. I went. With some friends. I went with some friends. Okay, what you have no, to I do. Went with some friends. Right, we need to combine both, right? Present perfect and past simple. So we're going to be using past simple for giving details. And um, did you see WhatsApp? I sent you an image. Let's open it, all right? Go to WhatsApp. We're gonna practice right now. You got it? Open the image, I'm gonna open it here for you. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't get it. Hold on, it didn't go through, Never mind. All right, so open it. Um, it's this one. Can you see it? Yep. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's, let's work on yes. this together. Okay, go to WhatsApp. And I want you to first make a, a, a yes, no question. All right. Yes, no question with in the present perfect. And then in order for you to ask a follow up question, so meaning that you're asking for details. I want you to use the past, all right? So the first one says, first one says, can you see here? What does it say? Lose, lose, lose what? Some money. Some money. Some money, all right, let's make the question. Uh, using subject you, how would you ask that question? Have you ever lost some money? Have you ever lost some money, very good. And imagine the person says, yes. I yes, have. I haven't. <laughs> no, that's not possible. Uh, yes, yes, I, I have. have. Okay, in case that they say yes, we're going to ask them. How them much have you lost? Aha, uh -huh, for example. No, we're going to use it in the past. Past, past, past. So you will say, How, how much, much lost? did you lose? How much did you lose? Okay, and the person will say, Oh, I lost $100. Yeah, one day I lost $100. What is the biggest amount of money you have lost, guys? In my case, one hundred dollars. What about you? <laughs> I, don't I don't remember. remember. I have. I think I haven't ever lost anything. 
Oh, really? How oh, good. Yeah. All right. You're going to discuss that anyway. So, another question. What's the second one? What does it say? Ride a horse. Ride a horse. What is the question? Have you ever Have you ride ever a horse? Right. Have you ever rode right, a horse? No, road is the past. We need right. to participle. Have you ever right. written? Right. Or right. Right. No, you have write, wrote, written. This is the past part. Written. written. Okay, imagine the person written. says, yes, I have. Yes. And you're going to ask a follow-up question and say, when was the last time or when did you, when did you write a horse, right? Is that clear? Yes. yes. Are you ready yes. to practice? We're going to yes. practice in groups. Ready? Groups of three, accept the invitation, please. And here we go. Go ahead. Come on, let's join. Everybody join. Yeah. I Why meet... you don't take an aspirin? Hmm? Why you don't take an aspirin? Why don't you? Uh, uh, I take a two panadols. Ah, you, you took acetaminophen. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't work. Uh, no, I recently, recently. Ya está, nos vamos a turnar. Así, uno, uno pregunta, el otro responde, y el que responde pregunta, y así, no sé. Ok, very good. Ok, um, Mirna, ask the first question. Ok. Um, have you ever made a, someone cry? Um, JC, I don't know what is there. Yeah, JC right. or Jose Armando, okay. How many? Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. I'm sorry, I, I, <laughs> me equivoqué. <laughs> con la, con la thousand. Oh, but two hundred dollars is a lot. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of money. How did you lose yeah. it? You. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you borrow money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, híjole, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Borrow, uh, um, Borrow es oh. tomar prestado. And lend, lend es prestar. Lend es dar prestado. Presta. Ajá. Dar prestado. Ahí lend a uh -huh. money. Híjole. Sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad, bad lucky. <laughs> bad luck. Yeah. But you uh, knew that he wasn't your friend. Ah, <laughs> uh, she is crazy. She a make a crazy. Uh, I was made. Y el pasado participio creo que también es made. Yes, it is. Okay. I will make another question. I will ask another question. Okay. Is how how you. And then listening to you is how you ever had a bad holiday? And um, no, I haven't. Okay. I I haven't 
uh, had a bad holiday. Okay, that's good. All right, next question, JC. Okay, I think so. Uh, have you ever uh, stay out late? I think it says stayed up. Uh, stay up? Stayed up, because it's in the past. Stay it up, stay it up, okay, late. Stayed up late. Yeah. Armando? Oh, no, stay out, it says. Have you ever stayed out late? I stay out no. late. Never. Never. <laughs> Never in my life. Yes, on time. Oh, no, no. That <laughs> is such a lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the latest you have stayed out? When I study. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, we stay up late, okay. All night. Very good, very good. All right, next question, Lina. Uh, oh, that means you deal yeah. so frequently. Me too. Ah, very yeah, good. Yeah, I, I, what, what about you, Miguel? I, I write, uh, written, I written a, a I one have time. Written? I has written a one I have time written. in my shire. Written. Uh -huh. I was uh, when I was a child. Written a uh, child. Right. Written. I have written. Written. I has written in my shire childhood. Okay. Yes, in yes. childhood. No, no, but since you're saying in your childhood and it is time specific, you need to use the past. So you would say I wrote it when I was a child. Ah, uh, yeah. Because it's fast. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. And you? I think uh, here is someone else, Juan Carlos. Had? Yes, I. Yes, Heidi. Yes, without. No, it's without. Haven't. Yes, I. Have my, have, it's, now it's have, confusing. What is your confusion? About the answer, the, the, have you ever have? The, the, the participle have, I don't remember. Have. Have, have. yes, have. have with a B. Have, have you have, ever had? Have you ever had, yes. Have you ever, ever had an operation? Yes. yes, I have. Yes, I have. Oh my gosh, what was it? <laughs> How do you say se me torció un quiste en el ovario? Oh my gosh. Oh wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. Do you get like um mm, how do you call this? Hold on. Let me check. Let me check for it. Uh -huh. this. C Y F T. So uh this got twisted, you can say. Twisted. Right. Sift, C Y F T. But that's a specific one. Why so it was a, an ovary sift, got twisted, you would say. I have also. Why was it? What kind yeah. of operation was it? Next. To my left uh, left eye, something about narrow neuro we grow my toes, something like that. And something related to what did you say? Something related to neuro neuro fibro neuro. Have you neuro something? Yeah, in Spanish they call it neuro fibromatosis. Um, it sounds like neural fiber something. Yes, it's complicated to say it. Yeah, it's neuro. Okay, ne no, but I want to know neurofibromatosis. So, yeah, neurofibromatosis. Well, I was kind of close. Yeah. Oh, really? And how do you feel now? Everything's good? 
Yeah, that, actually, I think that was two years ago. Now mm -hmm. I feel better. Great. Katya, what was it? I think that is Excuse me? What, what kind of surgery did you have? Mm. I, how do you explain? That's another complicated <laughs> word. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, quitaron el, el quiste so my, del ovario. I, I, I got my cyst it, removed. My... I my what? This for mood. Yes, very good. Okay, we're going to go back now. This for mood. Uh. Hmm, very interesting questions, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we get to know a little bit about the other. Nice. Right. Oh, Tell me nice. quickly. <laughs> So simply say, we're almost done. So simply say and quickly, all right, yes, I have or no, I haven't. Simple as that, all right? Have you ever seen a whale? No, I, no, haven't. I haven't. Have you ever fallen in love? Yes, I have. I don't know what that means. No, I haven't. <laughs> all right. Yes, yes I have. I have. <laughs> Oh, be honest. Come on. Have you already found <laughs> some money? Yes, I have. Great. Yes, I have. Have you yes, ever have. spent a lot of money? Yes, I have. Have, I have you ever fallen out of bed? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Oh, yes, no, I haven't. Have. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> All right. Have you ever forgotten a birthday? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> have. Yes, I have. Have you ever been in a car accident? Yes, I have. Oh, you can. I have. No, I have. Yes, I have. Once in my life. I don't remember. <laughs> I was close to being one, but thanks for nothing happened. Okay, I was in a car accident, so Noé and I, I guess. Noé, <laughs> we share that. Yes. Right. Only once in my life. Yeah. But yeah. but uh, I I como digo uh, they hit to me. Yeah, they hit you. My yes, uh, the the other driver crashed my car right. very hard. Oh no! Cool. Yeah, same thing happened to me. It was a yeah. terrible accident. I was I was innocent. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen a dog? Uh, a ghost, guys? A what? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. A ghost? Ghost. Yeah, ghost. ghost. Oh, I have. No, I, I have. have. A ghost. Fantasma. Um, I haven't I seen see. them, but I, I, have. Was, I kind of saw them. <laughs> Miguel Angel has his <laughs> I was uh, every night pass to the cemetery. Ah, uh, every uh. after seven thirty you see a ghost. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you don't see any ghosts tonight. <laughs> Thank you for being in class, guys, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Goodbye.